Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and in this video, we're going to address a common misconception. Ah, oh, it is shaking. That is hipper than a bearded guy wearing a flannel shirt and tight jeans in Portland, Oregon. I tell you, it's a. Uh, it, this is a bee beard. Now, some people will tell you that this is swarming and fixing to happen, and that is not the case at all. Let me show you some other cases of bearding. Now again, some people will say that your bees need a box or they're fixing to swarm or other things like that. But these bees have plenty of space actually. If you look above on some of these hives, there's four, five, some of them even more than that. And some of them have less and there really isn't a lot of bees up top. But think about it. What the bees are trying to do right now when it's in the 90s is they're trying to cool the hive down. Bees are a very hot natured insect and not only that, they're blocking airflow if they're in the hive. If they're not needed in there to take care of larvae or pack in pollen, which there's hardly any pollen coming in, virtually no nectar right now, unless they're bringing back water or whatever they can find, what little there is, they're just going to hang out. You can see where these bees are blowing in currents into the hive. You got this one over here and this one right here. The bees know what they're doing. Now some people provide upper ventilation and that can help a little bit, but I usually don't bother. The bees are pretty good at doing what they need to do. I used to worry about it a lot. Healthy hives do just fine. If you think about tree cavities, most of the tree cavities out there aren't gonna be set up with multiple entrances. Some will, but uh, you know, I have seen this for years and never had an issue. Let's check out a couple more hives real quick. So what can we do to help our bees during summer? There's a lot of methods out there and some of them have been proven, uh, other ones are not so much. And honestly, I'm, I'm not 100% sure myself what is best for the bees during these hot summer days. I have hives that have screen bottom boards, they're still bearding. I have most of my hives, about 99% of them, in solid bottom boards or pallets like these right here. The bees do just fine. I find uh, having a great queen, dead mites, and good nutrition once again prevails. However, as a beekeeper that loves his bees, I'm constantly trying to figure out ways that can help my bees do their very best and eliminate as much stress as possible. That's why we're tinkering this year with some of the insulated hives that we have and we're keeping a very close eye on the apame and also the polystyrene hives to see if there's significant uh, if there's a significant difference in how the colonies beard and also the, the stress levels of the colonies. Most of my hives don't have it, so any insulation at all, so we'll definitely be able to see how that works for us. These lids are pretty warm up here, but ultimately this isn't a sign of swarming at all. This is a sign that you have a really strong colony. Now will colonies that are fixing to swarm beard? Sure. I mean any of these colonies could technically um, desire to swarm if the other conditions were met, but bearding does not mean the bees are swarming whatsoever. Thank goodness, because if that's the case, I have hundreds of hives that are fixing to swarm on me within the week. <laughs> but um, just keep in mind that that's just the bees doing their best and keeping the hive cool. These bees don't have anything better to do on this hive. This is a sign of a dearth as well. I mean, there's just, there's nothing to forage. You can see some washboarding going on over here. And we don't know what that is exactly besides just a bunch of bees showing us that they like a country line dancing just like uh, any other southern boy. <laughs> now uh, just just again you can do up, upper ventilation but I find that a healthy colony does really good. Now what about entrance reducers? The most I would want to reduce in a colony like this is six inches. Um, I've got different entrance reducers right here. This one's a pretty much almost completely a solid. It just reduces down to a couple inches. If I throw a five frame nuke into a single, I'll probably reduce the entrance down to about three inches. If uh, it's a str you know, strong colonies like this, I don't even reduce them at all. But I definitely, if you're going to reduce them, don't go below a, or add any more than six inches of reduction. Basically, I'm just gonna let, leave my bees alone. Again, most of these boxes up here have plenty of space for the bees. We don't need to add an extra box. We don't really need to crack the lid. You can add a little bit of space right here if you want to. Try it out. 
Um, make sure you leave it though to where other bees can't get into and, and start robbing. That's one of the worst things this time of the year is that right now if robbing gets started all these hives will start going after each other. The best defense for the colony is having a good offense and being able to protect themselves uh, just fine and, and go around and mess with other colonies but uh, we don't really want it to get started at all. We'll be talking more about robbing later so anyways I've rambled quite a bit. Basically to sum it up don't worry about bearding unless it's um you know on some really ugly dude then it, it's something to be worried about <laughs> all right thanks for watching the video